One of the most moving moments of my ministry occurred in the early hours of the morning in St George's Hospital Tooting. I'd been called, as happened more in the 1970s, to the bedside of a dying parishioner, Jane. I knew her well. She was a faithful worshipper who came from a Cornish family and had retained her West Country accent. She'd been a widow for many years and was by this time 95 years old. Jane had been unconscious for several days and was near to death. I sat with her and said prayers of commendation. When a nurse came and said, she's going, I began to recite Isaac Watts' well-known hymn, O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. At which point Jane's eyes opened and in her rich Cornish accent, she said, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. And then she died. As it happens, today is the anniversary of the death in 1748 of the great hymn writer Isaac Watts. Although a non-conformist, many of Watts' hymns have been a great influence on Church of England people and have lodged in the memory of many of us. It saddens me that these days hymn singing is giving way increasingly to worship songs, which, though some of them are admirable, are seldom memorable as poetry, or so I think anyway. Hymnody has been an important bedrock of Anglican and, of course, Free Church spirituality. In her last moments, as she came out of her coma before she took her last breath, it was the words of a hymn which came back to Jane. During these past weeks of isolation, I'm sure I'm not alone in having found comfort in the words of hymns which have been part of my life for as long as I can remember, especially those of Isaac Watts. When I survey the wondrous cross, O oh God, our help in ages past, Jesus shall reign. And as our thoughts turn towards Advent and Christmas, one of the most popular of all, joy to the world. In this wonderful hymn, the writer calls on the whole world to celebrate the coming of Jesus the Saviour. It concludes with this outpouring of faith and hope. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness, the wonders of his love. Thanks be to God for Isaac Watts and for all who enrich our lives and our worship in words and music. Amen. <laughs>